Hi, my name is Dave Lajoie and I would like to talk about anti-leasing and adaptive sampling. Even before we start uh, to talk about uh, anti-leasing, I would like to describe a little bit what is aliasing. Uh, here's a, uh, an analog OZO waveform that's been demonstrated here in the graphics. If we do take a sample, let's say a digital value, this being 0 and this being 1, in time, then obviously uh, this waveform has a given frequencies and we double the frequency here uh, to be able to recreate the waveform. Uh, doubling the frequency could uh, recreate the waveform quite well, but uh, if the actual sample location is uh, is shifting, you could miss a very important information. So uh, in this case, it, it contains really one frequency, but let's say audio waveform may contain a very broad range of frequencies. And obviously, if you want to recreate uh, that into the digital world, then obviously you need to increase the actual sampling density. Uh, in this case, so here we go for four times the actual uh, frequency here so you see that we're starting to pick up a little bit more details here and obviously if we go eight time or even eight times 16 times then you obviously the actual waveform is going to be much much better let's say for example that at this density we add a very very fine let's say frequency on top of this uh, current frequency such that it will vary along the waveform here then obviously this might not have enough samples to be able to pick up the very small changes so obviously the, the number of sample needs to be increased this is pretty much what is happening also in the uh, 2D space when uh, rendering an image you, uh, the actual pixel may cover a very complex part of the scene and inside what the pixel covers there's a lot of uh, details and those details could be seen as frequency.